on the charge of murder, we find the defendant guilty of murder. A lawyer convicted of murdering the mother of his child dies as he's awaiting sentencing for the crime. I'm Anjanette Levy, and thanks for joining us here on Law and Crime. James Ray III died on Sunday at a hospital in Newark, New Jersey. Medics rushed him to the hospital after Ray suffered what's being described as a medical emergency at the county jail. Ray was awaiting sentencing on a first-degree murder charge and a weapons charge for the 2018 shooting death of Angela Bledsoe at their home. Prosecutors said Ray murdered Bledsoe and fled to Cuba and Mexico because she was going to leave him. Ray claimed he acted in self-defense. Here, James Ray, he asserted self-defense. This is a case, ladies and gentlemen, that is not for the naive, not for the faint of heart, not for the timid. It's not because we're dealing with somebody who lost their life based on a tragic choice. A choice that Angela made on October 22nd. And again, I told you, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna speculate. I'm not gonna assume what she was gonna do with that gun. But I know based on the evidence, I know based on the circumstantial evidence that she picked up that gun, not once, but twice, and pointed it at James Ray. A jury deliberated for just three hours before finding Ray guilty last month. Has the state proven to you beyond a reasonable doubt that the defense of self-defense is untrue? Yes, all the jury agree, yes. Yeah, he's uh, out of the country. Can we, uh, can we put... One moment. Ray was actually due back in court next week for sentencing. That, of course, will no longer happen. A corrections officer found Ray unconscious in his cell on Sunday. Interestingly enough, that guard who found him gave Ray Narcan before he was taken to the hospital. Narcan is the antidote for an opioid overdose. If given early enough, it will reverse the effects of an overdose. It's not clear whether that is what caused Ray's death or why he was given Narcan. The medical examiner will make the final determination on why and how Ray died. Ray faced a sentence of 30 years to life in prison on the first degree murder and weapons charges. For Law and Crime, I'm Anjanette Levy.